Hello guys, welcome back to Algorithms. Continuing with our series on greedy algorithms. Now we are going to discuss a question of hacker and named team formation. So let us read the problem statement first. So the problem statement is that we have a person named Roy who is forming certain teams and he have, he have to select students from his university. A team can have any number of contestants. So let us write this point. First, team can have any number of contestants. Team could be of any size, we can say. Now, now Roy is know the skill level of each contestant and to make the teams work as a unit, he formed the team based on certain rules. Now let us read that rules. The rules is that each team members must have a unique skill level for the team. So each member has a unique skill level that is in a team uh, repetition is not allowed. Repetition is not allowed. So the second rule is that there exists another team member whose skill level is xi minus 1. So for every xi, xi is the skill of a of i h student, then in that particular team a student should exist of xi minus 1 skill level. Obviously this does not apply on the first team member so is, uh, i is greater than zero so the more contestants on the team the more problems they can attempt at a time so roy wants to form teams such that the smallest team is as large as possible so what we have to find we have to find any combination such that the smallest team has the largest possible size as largest possible size or largest possible length so let us take this test case that they have explained here so the test case is like this minus 1 0 1 2 2 3 this is uh, in this test case they these elements are in sorted order but in our actual problem statement or the test case that they have designed for this problem uh, these elements might not be in sorted order so first let us make the first set that we can think of first set can be this minus 1 0 1 2 3 and the remaining element was 2 we cannot include 2 here because 2 we have uh, written 2 here so in this set you can see that for 3 3 minus 1 is present for 2 2 minus 1 is present for 1 1 minus 1 is present and for 0 0 minus 1 is present so this is a valid team. Now other, another possible combination could be minus 1. We keep, we keep it separately. 0, 1, 2, 3 and 2. So this is a valid combination because for 3, 2 exist. For 2, 1 exist. And for 1, 0 exist. So the largest so the largest, uh, so the smallest team size in this is 1, smallest team size in this is 1. Now let us try to make another combination which could be minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 2 comma 3. So in this combination we got 2 as our answer which means that the smallest possible team size for this type of combination is 2. So for any given skill set what we are going to do is the best approach that came to our mind is that uh, for any given skill set form all such possible combinations. Let us name these combinations as S1, S2, S3, S4 and so on and for each combination S1, S2, S3 and S4 uh, we would find the minimum uh, minimum team size for that possible combination let that minimum possible team size be l1 l2 l3 l4 and so on so basically we have to find the maximum of all of these values that is we have to find maximum of li uh, where li is from 1 to any possible number m so this is the brute force approach this could be the brute force approach for solving this problem 
uh, that is we would find all possible subs all possible combinations of this array which fulfill these two conditions we would find the minimum team size found uh, minimum team size possible for that type of combination and we would take maximum of all of these possible combinations so now let us take a look at the constraints of this problem the constraints of this problem are that is our n is less than or equal to 10 raised to the power 6 n is less than or equal to 10 raised to the power 6 and greater than equal greater than equal to 0 and our xi that is skill set every value of the skill set is less than or equal to 10 raised to the power 5 and greater than or equal to 10 raised to the power 5 and the total number of total number of test cases are less than or equal to 100 test cases are less than or equal to 100 so by seeing these two things we can deduce that we want a solution of o of n into t time complexity or basically o of n time complexity for every test case so this brute force approach won't work uh, in such case uh, that is for larger n this brute force approach won't work so let us try to think uh, of an optimized solution for solving this problem basically we are going to apply or we are going to become greedy for solving this problem for solving this problem let us first try to analyze this test case more thoroughly our test case was minus one zero one two two and three so for every given skill set or for any given skill set a we have to iterate over this skill set only once that is we have to make n iterations or n iterations and we have to find the optimal team set or we have to make the optimal team set optimal team set such that the maximum or such that the minimum possible team size minimum team size that we have made in this optimal team set is as max as possible this as max as possible is in reference to the total teams that we could have made t1 t2 t3 and so on total team combination that we could have made by following these two conditions so we have to make this optimal team set by iterating over this array once so what we should do for achieving this is we will make we will make teams we will make various teams and for each team that we have made we have to maximize its size maximize its size or we can also think uh, it like this that every team that we are making should be of approximately same size that is uh, we don't want that any team size any team size uh, let us consider this team t1 this is team t2 the length of this uh, team is something l1 and this is something l2 then we don't want that l2 is very less than l1 so we want that approximately l1 is equal to l2 and this property should be for every team that we are going to make so uh, we are going to maximize each and every team that we are going to make so let us try this logic for this test case first we will take minus one then we will take zero consider this team as t1 now for zero there were two options uh, first option was to push that zero in this team t1 or to make a separate team t2 and put that uh, put uh, put this zero in t2 only but this combination would be illogical because we want to maximize the only team size that we have and zero was a valid choice for minus one because zero minus one equal to minus one so it was better to place 0 in this team t1 now similarly consider 1 so by using this logic again we will put 1 here now 2 by same logic we will put 2 again here now we encounter 2 again so we could not put, uh, put uh, t1 here so by force we now had uh, we now had to make a separate team t2 now we, we will come to 3 now what we discussed here was we have to uh, make l1 approximately equal to l2 
So instead of increasing the size of this L1, here L1 is 4 and L2 is 1. Now instead of increasing the size of L1, we should increase the size of L2. So we should add 3 here. So this is our optimal team set that we had got. And for sure, the minimum size, uh, the minimum team size is 2 in this case and this is the maximum possible for any team combination that we could have made. So now I think you are comfortable with the test case. Now let us try this approach for a better and a lengthy test case. So let us take this test case for better understanding. So in this case n equals 14. Let this array be named A. Now out of this array we have to form optimal team. So first for achieving this property for uh, that is for every xi present in a team xi minus 1 should be present we are going to sort this array. So after sorting this array will become 1, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 9, 9, uh, 10, 12 and 13. So now let us implement this algorithm. Uh, that we have discussed here uh, for this case also first we will pick one so we are going to form name t1 and we will push one in it now we are going to encounter five so five cannot come here because five minus one is not equal to one so we are going to make a separate team for this five now we will come to this we can easily push this six here because 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Now we will encounter this 6. Now for this 6, we cannot play this, this 6 here. So forcefully, we have to make another team named T3 and we will push 6 here. Now we will encounter 7. And now as we have discussed, we will uh, make L1 approximately equal to L2. So this length 2 should be equal to uh, this length so we will push 7 here rather than pushing 7 here now we will encounter another 7 now we what we should do we cannot place 7 here so we would place 7 here now now we will encounter 8 now what we should do we can place either here 8 either here either here so and to uh, equalize the size of these two teams 2 and 3 we would push 8 here first then we then we will encounter another 8 so we cannot push 8 here so we will push 8 here now we encounter another 8 now we cannot push 8 here because 8 minus 1 is 7 which is not equal to 1 so forcefully now again we need to form another team and we will push 8 here so we have completed these many elements now we will move to 9 now this is 3 this is this is of length 4, this is of length 3, this is of length 1. Now we when we have encountered 9, better would be to push 9 here instead of here or here because we want to uh, increase or increase this length up to the lengths of these above teams. That is, we have to make length of T4 approximately equal to length of T3 or length of T2. So better, better option was to push 9 here. Now we again encounter a 9. Better would be to push 9 here because length of T3 is less, was less than length of T2. Now we encounter a 10. Now again better would be to push 10 here uh, because uh, we have to equalize the team size of T4 and T3 and T2. So we, we push 10 here. Now we encounter a 12. Now we cannot push uh, 12 in any of these sets because 10 minus 1 uh, because 12 minus 1 is 11 and 11 is not present in any of these teams so now forcefully we need to make a, another team t5 in which we will push 11 uh, in which we will push 12 now we encounter 13 so we will push 13 here so this was our optimal team that we could have made and for this team the minimum team size is this one which is 
equal to 1. So for uh, this array, we will return 1. Now, let us analyze the time complexity of this algorithm. So first for sorting, we took O of n log n time. And then uh, what we did was, uh, we made a single iteration over this array. And we got our answer by just pushing, pushing or making a new team. That is what we had done is first we pushed the current element or the current student or the current skill into the uh, into the team uh, which has minimum size. Skill push the skill x into team. having minimum size minimum size second if there is no possible team in which that element could be pushed then simply push that element into a new team that is create a new team so there are only two if else conditions that we have to make so implementation for this algorithm is quite simple so we took n log n, n log n time for sorting plus and time for for making a iteration so approximately we can say that the time complexity of our algorithm is n log n so guys we have solved this problem and if you have any doubts regarding this uh, algorithm that we have discussed above or you find any difficulty in implementing this algorithm do tell us uh, your doubts in our comment sections and i have attached the c++ code for solving this problem in our disc in our description so do check it out and uh, if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Alvars. Thank you.